everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I realize we're kind of at a wonky angle right here but that's so that we can have uh, my husband here Eric in the shot with me uh, because we have something new to share with you guys this is um, plumdeluxe.com fresh organic fair trade tea and this was sent to me uh, to review on my channel by the folks at Plum Deluxe. Wasn't that sweet of them, especially given that we are such a young channel. Um, I think that was just really, really, just really great of them to do that. So look, and one of the things I like is look how pretty their packaging, the purple bubble wrap is. And I just love that. And see, it goes right with, you know, their name, Plum Deluxe in here is this card and I'm going to have trouble getting things close to the camera and I really apologize for that but hopefully you can see that um this is thank you we appreciate you tea like life is all and how you make it so here are a few tips on how to make a great cup of tea one put the kettle on well we we did that it's hot uh you want a Full boil for black teas, oolongs, and if I say it wrong, I'm really sorry, and herbals, less than boiling for green and white teas. Mm -hmm. um, two, add one teaspoon of tea leaves to your tea infuser and place in your favorite mug. Pour approximately eight ounces of hot water over the top. And then and one, two, tea instead of three. That's kind of cute. Steep according to the instructions on your packet of tea. Then add milk or sweetener to your liking or not and enjoy. And then they gave me a, on here it says save 20% off your next order. So hopefully we're going to find something in this bag that we like and we will be using that 20% off. All right, so they sent me three teas and they were so kind to let me even pick the teas I wanted to try. So, I mean, this, this company, I'll tell you, uh, even without trying it, they are awesome. And I would recommend them just based on all of those things. So what we have here, we have afternoon high tea, which is a white tea. It says relax with friends in this lovely blend. It has white tea, peach pieces, apricot pieces, orange peel, uh, calendula, if I said it wrong, I apologize, pear essence, love, gratitude, it's low caffeine, and you steep one teaspoon in just below boiling water. So uh, this should be probably the right temperature right now. But just in case, let's see. We have an herbal, which it says it should be boiling. So let's do the herbal and this one. I think probably both these would need to be steeped right now. Okay, so we have an herbal that it is a buttery shortbread herbal tea. I don't know if I showed you the afternoon tea. I am so sorry if I did not. There it is. And look how, look at this, guys. Then that just, I mean, that just looks yummy. Look at all the goodness in that. All the big uh, pieces of like the dried fruit. And the, Okay, so anyways, onward to the buttery shortbread herbal tea. Treat yourself with a delish cuppa. It's got honey bush tea, cocoa peel, blackberry leaves, flavor essences, love and gratitude. No caffeine. And it's one teaspoon in boiling water for four to six minutes. Now this one looks like less, but it, I think it's only because it's smaller bits. Um, the other one um, had, you know, a lot larger bits and this is a finer tea. So, uh, and the last one is the vanilla sugar cookie dessert tea, lightly sweet and spiced and full of love. It says, uh, green, how do you say this? Uh, rubios or whatever, cinnamon chips, blackberry leaf, ginger root, fennel seeds, vanilla essence, love and gratitude, no caffeine. So we have two that are no caffeine and one that is a uh, low caffeine so but we, we drink coffee so we really didn't need a whole lot more caffeine all right i think because these two are supposed to be steeped at a higher temperature and it's still very hot we will start with these we're going to try all three of them and so we have um some 
one time use um, tea bags here, and I'm going to measure it into those. Okay, so this one's going to be the sugar, vanilla sugar cookie dessert tea. If I can get it open, I got it. All right. Let me see. Let's start with, I mean, it looks really good. I don't know if you can see it on the camera real well. But let's see how it smells. Mm. If I can open it. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That really does smell like sugar cookies. Here, honey, smell this. Well, let's hope it tastes that good. Oh, doesn't it smell really good? Mm -hmm. So let's get a scoop of this. Remind you of cookie dough. Yes, it does. It smells. Good thing I didn't spill because I dropped it. <laughs> um, because I would be really sad if I spilled it. Hopefully, that's enough of the tea. Now I have not tried one of these disposable bags. You have, haven't you, honey? Mm -hmm. And they, they work fine. Do they work fine? Yeah, they okay, because I would hate to have it contaminate my... Make sure you tie it. All right, so we are going to put this in this cup. I had chocolate on my spoon hmm. because I had mocha earlier. Hmm. It was on the handle. It's fine. I wiped it off. Okay. It's a clean spoon, I promise. Yeah. Mmm. Man. All right, let's let that steep. Yeah. And so that we remember who's who, we're going to sit. The tea with it. Yeah, the tea right next to that cup while it steeps. Yep. So we're going to move on to, again, because we're supposed to be using the hotter water for hotter water. Yep. We're going to do the buttery shortbread herbal tea. Can you see a theme here? <laughs> we two cookie teas. Uh, it's that time of year. I thought that those sounded like, um, now these are not holiday teas. These are ones that are out all year. I didn't want to sample holiday teas only because I didn't want you to see this video and hear me say, oh, it's really great. And then you not be able to order it in case they sold out or something. So I did order ones that they have, I guess, all year, but still sounded kind of, you know, Christmas cookie-ish. To me, like, you know, sugar cookies and then shortbread cookies. My husband loves shortbread cookies. Mm -hmm. I love a good sugar cookie. He loves. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Now, I'm not 100% sure that on first sniff that it smells like a butter cookie. But my husband would be, be the better judge. Mm -hmm. mm, not, not really. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, I mean, just because it doesn't really necessarily it's not a spot on smell wise as the vanilla but you know vanilla being a really strong scent mm -hmm. um does not mean it's not going to taste like a butter cookie oh i dropped some no don't waste all right so let me get this one tied you know cinched shut and we will oh don't rip it okay let's put that one in this one This one's kind of a big cup, so I've got to be careful not to over... Well, there aren't my strings down in the cup, but that's all right. I'd say that might be enough water because, again, this is like a really wide cup. All right, here's a spoon for that one, and here's this package by it, so we can... I should have showed you the tea when it was, like, in the spoon, so you could have seen a little more what it, what it looked like, but I too excited to get trying this now we're on to the afternoon Thai tea which is the white tea and it says that this has got white tea and peach and apricot and orange so I expect it to have a little bit of a fruity smell it just sounded really good and we had um we went on a cruise this time last year on princess right before uh <laughs> The pandemic shut the, you know, had all those people stuck. And one of the things we did, oh my goodness, this might be the best smelling one. Um, one of the things we did was uh, have afternoon tea, uh, what, two or three times? Uh, 
And many we were enjoying it. Yeah, as many times as we could. Good. Yeah. Here, smell this one. Wow, okay. That's really... That oh, doesn't that smell really good, though? Yep. So anyway, as, as I was trying to say, is we had had the afternoon teas, and we really enjoyed the tea um, flavors that they had. And I was thinking, well, hopefully, this was going to be uh, similar. But I don't know, because I don't think any of them smelled near this nice. I'm going to show you this one up close because it's the one that has the most uh, to see. If I can, hopefully you can see it. I mean, it does have big chunky pieces and it just smells just divine. I wish you, I wish we did have smell-o-vision because you would probably be right on their site ordering this. If you like fruity smelling peas. All right. So I think the water's probably had enough time to cool down enough to brew this one, but we may be able to move on to the first one and give it a sample. And I think what we should do is we should start off, now hopefully I'm not adding too much water to the amount of tea I used. Um, so anyways, let's try this first sample it without any sweetener, and then we have some Splenda to try um, and it may not have steeped quite long enough. I hope that it has. I'm going to try it with a spoon because I really don't want to burn myself on camera. It's not, it's not hot. I think it may need just another minute. But what I tasted of it was good. I'm also, like I said, I may have added too much sugar, or too much sugar, too much water, um, to the amount of tea that I used, because I didn't want to waste it. I didn't want to overdo it, you know. Um, now, I'm not sure how how their tea does, like for a second brew. A lot of tea um, is better the second or third brew, even than the first brew. But I'm not sure how theirs, how theirs work. I think I didn't. I got a piece of tea in my mouth. I'm not sure I have enough of the tea in it, but I can tell you just from the weak tea that I'm tasting, again, my fault, not theirs, um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's that's a tea I can enjoy. Yeah. It's weak because I didn't put enough in it, or I put too much water too much for water. the amount. Right. So we're going to try it with just a little bit of sweetener. I don't, because it's kind of weak, I don't want to overpower it with the... The Splenda. And I'm thinking that the sweetener could um, enhance that vanilla flavor. Now, I don't like milk in my tea, but if you do, I imagine this could just taste just like milk and cookies. This is the vanilla sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Guys, I think that's where my 20% off is going to go. Again, I, would, I, I do want to... Um, brew this again uh, probably what i'm going to do is brew it right over top of this so i don't waste and add more um add more of the tea in, in another tea bag because i know that it's because i put too much water and not enough tea but isn't that really good with the sweetener that's, that's it good. really enhances that vanilla flavor hmm. let me see let's see what else we can taste in this of the i do taste the i taste the cinnamon I don't know if I taste the blackberry, but no. I don't know what blackberry leaf tastes like. So no. I get a tiny hint of the ginger, would get it more if it was stronger. Uh, not, again, my fault, not theirs. And the vanilla definitely get that. And man, does it smell. Mmm, you guys, that's a good one. If you like vanilla and if you like sugar cookies, I'm telling you, you should try this one. Yeah. All right, I'm really a fan. All right, so next is the shortbread cookie. Uh, herbal tea. And this one I tried to put a little less water in. So hopefully that will um, help it to be a little stronger. Mmm, it smells good. Again, I'm not sure that I'm smelling um, shortbread cookies, but... Or shortbread, it doesn't say... It says buttery shortbread, it doesn't say cookies, but you know. Hmm. All right, you try that one. I think, again, I didn't put enough tea in. 
my fault. It still tastes good, though. It gives you the uh, idea of what it would taste like if it was strong enough. I don't know, it needs sweetener. It does? Yeah, it does. Yep, and that's what, well, I wanted to try it before and after because I don't really want it, you know, I want to taste it. Without the sweetener, you get a lot of bitterness. Yeah, that's what I was detecting. It was a little bit bitter, and I wonder what it is that causes that bitter note. It also has a fruity aftertaste, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what it is, but I'm quite sure that the little bit of sweetener that we added will be enough to, you know, counterbalance that. Ah, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has to have sweet. Okay, if you don't like sweetener, it doesn't have to have sweetener. However, now it tastes like buttery shortbread. Mm. You know what? I'm wondering if I don't like that one a little bit more than the vanilla sugar cookie. And I didn't think that was possible. I think we made some good selections. And I'm still on the same package as Splenda. So, I mean, it doesn't take a lot to bring out those. Yeah, that really does taste like. like Isn't that it, really yeah, good? It really does taste like it. All right. So, the last one, and if it, hopefully it's had enough steep time. And again, these may have needed just a little more steep time and definitely. Definitely, it needed more tea. Yeah, a little bit stronger. Um, this being the afternoon high tea, the white tea. And so you can really tell. And it makes you think, oh, well, I don't have enough tea in it because it doesn't have a whole lot of color. It's white tea. It's not going to have a whole lot of color. Yeah. And I like a good white, a good white tea. Hmm. You know what? Probably would taste better if I didn't just have that. And not it's because I'm still tasting the um, the shortbread tea. I'm I'm still getting that flavor, and they're not probably meant to taste back to back. It's a very subtle flavor, and again, I didn't want to overdo the yeah, the, sweet the brew the because I'm really you know wanting these to go away. So I don't. I don't want to, I don't want to use too much and then not, you know, shortchange myself on cups of tea. But I recommend that you, um, that you measure it out just a little better than what I did. Mm. Okay, that's the rest of that one packet of Splenda. Because we don't like ours over sweet. And it may not be enough. We may have to add a little bit because there wasn't hardly anything left. Let me see. It didn't even have more. enough for that. No, it doesn't. I couldn't detect it really, but I don't want to overdo it either because then you'll just kill your flavor of your tea. You have to be careful not to get so much sweetener in and things that that instead of enhancing your tea, that you just sort of you know cover it up with with sweetener. That's why I think the beet sugar is better. Yes, beet sugar is really good. If you can get, um, it comes, it looks like rock candy. And they sell it, I know they sell it at Tiavana. And like, they have those in the malls, but you can, you know, online too. Um, it's a really good uh, sweetener. Mm -hmm. Awesome sweetener for tea. And you can just eat it like rock candy. All right. You may think it needs a little more, but I know you don't like very much sweetness, so I'm trying not to overdo it. So check that and see if that's to your liking, and if not, we will add a little more sweetness to it and see what you think. It is, in my opinion, it is a very light tea, and that could be because I didn't brew it strong enough. Yeah, they all need to be a little stronger, but you can, you can detect the flavor in this. Yeah. So, so let's it's see. Really, it's a good afternoon tea, actually, especially if you're going to eat biscuits with it or whatever they... Yeah, I think so, too, because then um, you're not overpowering the taste of your biscuits. Mm -hmm. And if if you're one of those biscuit dunkers, mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, they would probably really, um, really marry well if you did that, if you didn't have too strong of a tea. I know that um, there was one that we had on the cruise. It was just a little, it was a, a black tea, and I thought it was a little strong. Mm -hmm. um, so... 
I'm wondering if it's the peach or the apricot. Do you which do you think you're picking up the most? Probably the apricot. That's what I was thinking. I think so. Well, you know that drink though. I think I might have detected a little more tea now that I'm like really thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just the, you know, the two combined mm -hmm. to be a kind of a unique fruity flavor. I I really like all three of these. There's not yep. there's not a complaint that I have for any of these, and I would definitely, I think, give any of the three again, if not all of them. Which was your favorite, do you think? I like the shortbread. The I knew you would like the yeah. shortbread. You know what? I think it's a tight race for me between the shortbread and the vanilla sugar cookie. Um, although I like all three of them. I'm not sure which of those two that I actually enjoyed more. Yeah, I think the shortbread the best. Mm. Taste the shortbread now that's had a little more time to steep. And then we'll go back to the vanilla again, too. I just tried the vanilla. It's, it's got mm -hmm. a really strong vanilla flavor. No, that was the white tea again. This was the white tea here? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. See? Hmm. I think my favorite of the three is the shortbread. Mm. I really do. And I, I was, I'm surprised because I thought the vanilla, I really love vanilla. And I thought the vanilla was going to be my favorite. Hmm. I don't know. They're all good. Mm. But... To rank these, I would say my very favorite is the shortbread, followed by a close second uh, being the vanilla, and uh, just hanging back just just slightly would be that afternoon high tea. And I think that if I brewed it a little stronger, mm -hmm. and my water may have cooled off just a little more than it should have also. So, um but honestly, I would not be sad to have any one of these uh, with... A couple of biscuits and um, biscuits meaning cookies. cookies. <laughs> um, I think that um, any one of these with a couple of biscuits and or maybe even some tea sandwiches or a nice little uh, pedophore or two, I, I would not be sad. I would not be sad having any of the three. What do you think? I Probably not. I probably, they just need to be stronger. Now, I'm not going to name names. What? Yes, and that's me. That's on me, guys. And probably, again, my water probably had cooled down a little bit. We didn't let it steep quite long enough in interest of time. Um, I'm not going to name the other tea company. If you go back through my videos, you'll find who I'm talking about. How would you rank this with the other tea company that we have? Um, now, again, we've, we haven't sampled all of either one. Mm -hmm. But what would you say? Um, now, these... Uh, Plum Deluxe, um, obviously, they mix all their own teas. The other tea company does some, I believe, of their own teas, but they also sell some pre you know, prepackaged teas from other companies and such. Um, so I'm, it's kind of comparing apples to oranges, I guess. But anyways, um, if you had to pick one over the other, which one would you suggest? If somebody was like, well, which tea subscription should I try? Or which tea company should I try? Would you try uh, the Plum Deluxe, this one, or the other one that we've done in previous videos who will remain nameless? Uh, uh, probably the Plum Deluxe because it's just, they have better flavors. And you can actually taste the flavor that it says it is. There's I think so too. Other ones that you just, they don't taste anything like they say they do. So. Right. And that, again, they do... Um, a lot of the things that you can get at the other tea company. You do get some selections that you can pick up at your local grocery store. The The good thing about that is that when you run out, you can go to your local grocery store and you mm -hmm. can pick it up, which I don't think is what they intended. I think they intend for you to order through them. How else would they? I mean, because they send you samples. And um, so, but here, you're not going to run to Walmart or Kroger or what whatever grocery store chain that you have um you're not going to run down the street and pick up that i know of plum deluxe teas because i think you probably have to order them from them and they are definitely they mix their own mm -hmm. so i think that's really cool um i mean because if i wanted to go out and try say stash tea or 
uh, twinings or whatever, I would just go pick those up. I wouldn't necessarily order them through the mail through a subscription service or, or whatever. So anyways, uh, definitely of the two, not going to shout them out, not going to throw them, you know, to the wolves. I'm not pointing at my shelf where their box might or might not be hanging out. Um, because I'm sure that they're great and I'm sure they have their followers and, you know, this is our opinion and our preference and we just happen to like Plum Deluxe. Mm -hmm. So I suggest that if you are a tree drinker, tree drinker, tea drinker, that you give Plum Deluxe a try. Really yummy. And they have just tons of teas, tons of different flavors. So there should be something for everybody at Plum Deluxe. And with that, I would uh, like to thank my husband for helping me to um, to review these teas. He's more of a tea drinker than I am, but I'm also a tea drinker, mostly coffee. But um, with these, I think I could be more of a tea drinker. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. So thank you, Eric, and thank you, Plum Deluxe. Yeah. And I would like to ask all of you to please like, comment, subscribe, and share. All those things really, really do help uh, my channel and any um, new and growing channel on YouTube. Um, so please think uh, about doing that to help us out. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>